Yo, what's good peeps? I'm gonna quickly run through what I consider the best fighting games on the 7th gen, so make sure you keep it locked. Number 5 In my personal opinion, Mortal Kombat 9 was one of the best fighting games during the 7th gen era, mainly because it brought in some new elements to the series, some great fatalities, fearless warriors and was just an amazing fighting game experience overall. Being brutally honest, I've always been a bit hot and cold with Mortal Kombat games over the years, but I do feel that Mortal Kombat, or what I like to call Mortal Kombat 9, brought the game back on the correct path. There were some really great new weapons added to the game, the background came to life, and the game even had a pretty decent story mode. All of these things add up to the delivery of a very impressive, interesting and distinctive experience that during the height of the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era, you would have enjoyed a lot of this game. Number 4 now I know this is probably not a familiar game with a lot of gamers out there, but to me this was a pretty solid fighting game. Persona 4 Arena retains a unique arcade gaming experience and it also features characters from the predecessor. There's an instant kill attack, multiple gauges to focus on as you play, an online and story mode as well as lots of characters for you to unlock. Overall, whilst many may consider it a niche title on this list, those who's actually had the opportunity of experiencing this game would know that it was like 2D fighting game at its very best definitely during the seventh generation era this game was recently actually added to the xbox one backwards compatible list and i think it's one of those games that's worth trying even today if you get the opportunity number three Since Soul Blade days, I've always been fond of the Soul Calibur series and Soul Calibur 4 was up there amongst my favourite from the franchise. Soul Calibur 4 allows players to choose from a character from the series they want. There are lots of unique attack styles and lots of equipment pieces. The character voices are also a lot more distinct and interesting, which is exactly the type of things that you would want to take into consideration. You can also create custom characters, but these don't have a weapon choice or equipment changes. But overall, this game is definitely among the best for those who's played the game will know just how much fun and challenging Soul Calibur 4 was. I was hoping to see Soul Calibur at least appear on the next gen such as the PS4 or Xbox One, but let's just leave that discussion for another video and definitely give it up to Soul Calibur 4, another great entry on this list. Number 2 Now some gamers might not consider Super Smash Bros a traditional fighting game but in my eyes this game falls in the fighting game genre. I must admit at first I was never really a fan of Super Smash Bros Brawl simply because I was instantly comparing the game to the likes of Super Smash Bros Melee on the Nintendo GameCube. But after a few weeks of playing Super Smash Bros Brawl this certainly was one of the most played fighting games during the 7th generation and easily one of the best fighting games on the original Wii. Super Smash Bros. Brawl did bring in a lot of new characters to the game and this is actually the first title in the series where you did have a few third party characters in there. For those who've never had the opportunity to play this game before, the emphasis here is on ring outs and not on knockouts. That does make the gameplay a lot more interesting and enticing. At the same time, you can play it with up to four different controllers, which adds even more fun and excitement into the mix. Whilst it might have taken me a little while to warm to the game on its first release, that doesn't change the fact that this game is awesome and is definitely the reason this game sits highly on my list and probably could have been number one. Number one. Now, while some may disagree, I believe that Ultra Street Fighter 4 is certainly the best fighting game from the seventh generation. I personally placed hours upon hours into this game since Street Fighter 4 was first surfaced on the console, all the way up to Ultra Street Fighter 4. The game has tons of characters, lots of DLC costumes, and a variety of attacks, and it is a very fun game to play. Since this is a competitive game, it can be very hard and unforgiving at times, but then again, that also makes it fun as you progress. 
I've always believed that this game put Street Fighter series back on the map because before this game I can't really remember any standout Street Fighter titles that definitely had such a global impact. Obviously games like Third Strike and Street Fighter 3 and stuff was definitely a great look but at the same time I do feel that Street Fighter 4 was one of the titles that was certainly pivotal in resurrecting the series. Anyway peeps, thanks for taking the time for sitting through my rundown of my 5 favourite fighting games from the 7th generation which for those who might not know what the 7th generation is, is the console such as the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and Nintendo Wii. All of these fighting games that I mentioned was definitely a pleasure to play and they do show how amazing the fighting game genre was on the 7th generation. Some of these titles like Mortal Kombat and also Street Fighter already got a sequel but it's just the charm of that older generation that still makes these titles will stand out. I always felt like the 7th generation was a great era for fighting games simply because this was when online gaming was at its peak so competition in the fighting game genre was extremely high. There's loads of fighting games that surfaced during this time so in the comments below do let me know what your favourite fighting game of the 7th generation was and what you make of my personal list. If you enjoyed this urban gameplay countdown video be sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say Peace out, peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.